Hi, today I'll be speaking on the topic of the establishment of uniforms in public schools. This is a widely spread debate between one side feeling very strongly that school should not, public school should not have uniforms because it wouldn't make a difference and it would just create more conflict and that students should have the freedom to express how they want to dress and it would provide uniqueness and let students express how they are and not just be grouped into one big pool of students who have to wear the same things. Um, the other side of the debate is that schools would produce, uniforms in schools would produce um, less conflicts and that people should really um, consider this idea because it would really just um, make things a lot easier. And so this being a really highly debated topic, my opinion is that um, schools should have uniforms because I feel that it would just reduce a lot of the conflicts that go on in school life every single day that some people might not even notice. Like getting ready in the morning, back to school shopping, um, bullying, all kinds of things. To start out, school uniforms would reduce bullying. This would include students being bullied for what they wear, which expresses how a lot of students are like as a whole in their personality. So this would eliminate them being bullied for how they feel they should dress. And that's a, that's a major thing. So that would reduce like a lot of the, um, like you see all the time, like kids were bullied in school. So they went and like killed themselves. Like that could reduce that if th there was uniforms because that would give them not like the students nothing to make fun of because everyone would be wearing the same thing. So you couldn't go in and say, what are you wearing? That shirt is so ugly. Like you couldn't do that because you would have the same thing on. Um, there would also be more focus on school and less on fitting in. So you wouldn't have to go to school and worry about if the popular kids are going to like what you're wearing today or if your outfit is acceptable for your school or if you're going to fit in to the like popular group and be socially acceptable. You wouldn't have to worry about that. All you would have to worry about in school is your academics and succeeding through your years of schooling to move on in life. That's it. Um, in the mornings, you wouldn't have to get up and like early and worry about what shirt you're going to wear and if your shoes will match and what jeans are going to go with that. You wouldn't have to worry about any of that. All you, you would wake up in the morning knowing you have to wear this shirt and skirt or shorts or pants with this shirt and shirt and that's it. Um, it would just all, all in all, it would just create so much less stress on the parents and the students. You wouldn't have to worry about so many things that you worry about now. Um, another big thing is it would reduce the conflicts with what is socially acceptable and what is just acceptable to be worn in a public school or any type of school. For example, um, in 2007, there was two examples of students who wore um, shirts that created a huge conflict. For example, in, um, in Vermont, a kid wore an anti-Bush shirt, which created a huge issue with so much debate. And also, in San Diego, in that same year, a kid wore an anti-gay shirt. And you can imagine how much conflict that brought to the surface. And both of these cases actually made it to court which is a very big thing. So if you had uniforms, that would have never happened. And all that time and money wouldn't have been wasted to go to court to debate these kids' shirts of what they wore to school. Um, academics could go up because you, again, wouldn't have to be worrying about what you're wearing. You could be more focused on your schoolwork. Um, there would be resistance to peer pressure to buy um, trendy clothes. So... You wouldn't have to be going out and making sure you get like the latest brand or the coolest designer brand of like shirt or shoes because you wouldn't have to worry about that. Um, and tendons could go up in, especially in the mornings because you wouldn't have to be late to your first period or your first class because of you couldn't find an outfit 
or you were just running late because you would just know you would just wake up, throw on your uniform, and head to school. So it could definitely improve attendance, especially in the mornings. Um, another major thing is it could eliminate economic barriers between the students because you, your financial status wouldn't be able to be known to anyone by what you're wearing. You couldn't like look at someone and be like, oh my gosh, her shirt's from Walmart. Clearly her family doesn't have a lot of money. Or, oh my gosh, he's wearing some shoes that are like $20. His family has no money. You couldn't ever do that. Everyone have the exact same thing on. So there would be no economic barriers between students and identification of their family's financial status, which is a really big thing because that can hit some kids hard and it can really um, discourage them in school, especially nowadays and especially what certain schools that have more money. It could really create huge issues and like self-confidence issues for kids and that could really eliminate that. Um, another thing that uniforms could help is it could help identify intruders in the school. So if everyone has a uniform on and you see someone walking through the hallways that is not a known teacher or something or a faculty member and they're definitely not a student because they don't have a uniform on, you would automatically know like, hey, there's something going on. Like he's not supposed to be in the school. You would, you would automatically know, which would create more time to reduce that situation. Um, it could also prevent cliques and gangs to be formed because you couldn't have like girls sitting over there that all dress the same or like gangs on the other end like all dressing in the same style and just like create a lot of the cliques and like groups to be formed I guess. Um, mainly it would just provide unity amongst everyone. It would create more of everyone as a whole which that's really where a lot of the debate comes in because people um, people think that like you should be able to express yourself as a person and not be like sucked into being one whole group but really that could create a lot of betterment for the schools because your students would all be created as one all like working together as a team and just providing a better environment for the schools. To end, um, President Clinton said in his uh, 1996 State of the Union speech, if it means teenagers will stop filling, killing themselves over designer jackets, then, it, then our public schools should be able to require their students to wear school uniforms, which shows he is in support of this school uniform and it should really be considered. Thank you.